Hello, it's Donut from Orchamind, and I bought the cheapest bass drum pedal I could find. So, I bought the cheapest double bass drum pedal I could find. Um, I just got this DW Smart Practice practice drum kit. Comes with a bass drum mount uh, for bass drum pedal. I didn't want to keep using my pedal that I use on my main kit and bringing it back and forth in the studio, whatever. So, I needed to buy a new bass drum pedal. I just happened to be on Amazon. <clears throat> And I was like, I wonder if they have bass drum pedals. And sure enough, they had some bass drum pedals. So I was like, what's the cheapest one they have? And then I started doing all this research because all the prices were different from shipping. So I found the cheapest one that I could get. So this was 60 bucks, $10 shipping, you know, so 70 bucks. And uh, it's a, it's a Kataxan? Kataxon. Kataxon? Kataxon. Kataxon? I don't know. This is it. Sounds great. Okay, here, here's the Amazon description. Kataxon, double bass drum pedals, double chain drum step on hammer for drum set and electric drums. What more do you need? Alright, so uh, let's open it. You know, for curiosity's sake. And because I need to use it, and it's not gonna work in the box. Where's my knife? Let's see what we got. Oh, it's just it's just thrown in here. Yeah. Oh. Right. Let's get let's get everything out. Okay, I'm not, obviously not expecting much. There's two beaters, there's three. That's really what I wanted, was that third beater. Tied in a nice knot. Bother with. Yep. Okay. Um, it's a little worried because I could see Come on, damn it! I could see in the picture that it has this little guide. Oh, you can't see this little guide on this side, which stops the chain from slipping off. But this side does not have it, so I feel like it could. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Oh! Now I should point out that I use a. Uh, I've been using the Axis bass drum pedal for, uh, I don't know, probably close to 15 years now. The same one. And that's a direct drive, it's not chain driven. So I haven't played a chain driven pedal in a very long time. So this could just feel, feel weird because uh, it's different. And not because it's the cheapest thing I could find. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. Like my first, well, my first bass drum pedal, double bass drum pedal, looked a lot like this and it was made by Mapex, but that was for the 90s. Oh, that's loose. I'm worried about these, these little U-joints can break really easily. I don't know, it seems fine. I'm not gonna be lugging it around, so I'm not that worried. Okay, now, good enough, I'll just move it a little bit. Tighten that. I mean, this is pretty nice. This is, uh, oh, I'm feeling pretty solid. So that's already coming back way too far for me. That's gonna hit me in the shins. Yes, let's tighten everything once again. All right, that looks pretty good. Like this. Uh, there's too much 
travel. That's better. I mean, it doesn't feel uh, terrible. It's definitely not as smooth as what I'm used to. But for how cheap it is, considering some pedals, you know, over 500 bucks, <clears throat> this is not bad. I mean, it's, it's hard to tell uh, how long it's going to last. I mean, the hardware doesn't look that bad. Nothing's really jiggling. It's not really flimsy. And I, I kind of wanted to practice on, like, not a nice bass drum pedal. I kind of wanted something that's heavy and sluggish so I can, you know, build up a little more muscle and all that stuff. It's pretty good. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's like, it's hard to tell because I'm on like a clunky kind of practice kit anyway, so everything kind of feels off. But uh, this is what I bought it for, so just practice on and, you know, it's been, oh, I don't know, eight minutes. And it hasn't broken yet, which is pretty good. Um, but I like it so far. I may do like a long-term review. I probably won't because I'm really lazy about making videos, but first impression, it's pretty good. Things are coming loose already. That's really loose. So that's a problem right there. This little Allen wrench <laughs> screw got loose, but it's not broken or anything. There we go. That's better. Uh, so yeah, just keep some metric Allen wrenches. I mean, really, just size three. I don't know if there's any other size on here. It does not come with the Allen wrenches. All right, there you go. That's the cheapest bass drum pedal I could find on Amazon. Uh, I wasn't going to search anywhere else because I didn't want to really waste my time. Uh, I knew Amazon wasn't going to have, like, some big brands. Maybe they did. I, I don't really remember. But... This one's cheap, it does a job. Some things came loose, tightened it, it seemed to be fine. Longevity, I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, I'll update on my socials or whatever if anything happens. But for now, it's just going to be my practice pedal. And I don't need it to be awesome. I kind of wanted it to be like chunky and heavy because I wanted to build those muscles and, you know. Uh, not have it the perfect scenario. I kind of want it to be kind of janky, and it definitely is. But it's it's good. It's a it's a good janky. I don't know if that's possible. I like it. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm Matt Dota Drums from Orchid Mind. It's the band I'm in. I'm the drummer. If you couldn't tell. Uh, and yeah, cool. Thanks for watching.